Uh, I'm Dave Kanicki with Farm Equipment Magazine. If it sounds like I got a head cold, that's because I do. Sorry about that. This week we want to talk about uh, continued industry consolidation. Uh, if you need verification that it continues, uh, we've done just that. In the last uh, couple of weeks, together with our partner Curry Management Consultants, we updated a, uh, our big farm equipment dealers list, which we first published last year. Uh, we define a big farm equipment dealer as one with five or more stores. Last year, we came up with 151 dealerships that did operate five or more stores. In updating it this year, we've come up with 163. That's an increase of about 7%. Our best estimates are these large dealer groups account for well over 20% of all North American farm equipment sales. That's in dollars. By brand, we estimate that these dealer networks account for nearly 50% of John Deere's annual ag equipment sales in the U.S. and Canada. This compares with Agco, primarily its challenger brand, and Case IH, uh, where these dealer groups make up about 30% of their uh, those companies' annual sales. The uh, larger New Holland and Kubota dealer groups uh, aren't nearly at that level, and we estimate that they account for about 10% of those companies' annual sales. You can read more about these in the uh, next issue of Farm Equipment, which will be out in a couple of weeks. And the full list of big dealers will appear in the April issue of Ag Equipment Intelligence. My question about the, the proliferation of these uh, big dealer groups is what happens when a, uh, one of the big ones gets in trouble? That hasn't happened in the ag equipment business yet, but Case Construction has had to come to grips with uh, this recently. Uh, as one of their bigger groups, Briggs Equipment, decided to close up shop. In January, Briggs shut down the last of its 19 locations, leaving Case Construction without a dealer in Florida, the Carolinas, and Georgia. You can read more about that in, in uh, Ag Equipment Intelligence as well. Now, there doesn't look to be any real danger of any Ag Equipment uh, mega dealers getting in trouble soon, but you still have to wonder what's going to happen if that happens. And uh, even more importantly is where will a big single owner dealer group turn when it's time to get out of the business? Just some food for thought.